It's 3 a.m. Gabriel had yet to fall asleep. Hmm. How should I address the sustainability of the business? Where and how to grow? Let alone the social and financial sustainability too? Hmm. Those issues have been haunting him for the past few days. And she was tired. He closed his eyes. Little would he know, his mind would wander to the most bizarre world. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome you all to the fourth Singapore Entrepreneur Monopoly race. As you are aware, we are here today to witness the race to the future to achieve the Absolute Sustainability Cup. And our player for today is Mr. Play Nation. Overall strength, cozy atmosphere, unique products combination of both board game and console game, affordability and value service. Weaknesses, lack of focus on customer relationship management, low employer retention rate, and unstructured business operation. Before we start, let's take a look at the weather forecast. Looks like the weather is going to be harsh for the race today. Clouds of technology advancement is aging near. We'll be expecting heavy rain of new hardware and Android software anytime. Occasional economy downturn storms will be followed by a competitor's tornado and aging population wind blowing at 100 km per hour. Meanwhile, the market for labor storm protection gear is still heating as price continues to go up. Whatever your plan is for today, brace yourself well. The player will be starting the race with an initial amount of $1 million. <coughs> and without any further ado, the fourth Singapore Entrepreneur Monopoly race shall now begin. Player, please close your dice. Is three. The chance deck. You want the business model guidebook. Please play a game of puzzle to unlock your gear. This is hard, is it? Well, ah, uh, no. There you go. Thank you very much. You have arrived at the taboo house. Please play a game of taboo to proceed. It's you again. What consists of revival of the board game era, providing a delightful experience for hardcore console players, and creation of a new culture for family bonding? Vision! Good. What consists of building a career path that emphasizes on employee personal development, delivering exceptional service, and creating extraordinary experience for customers that focuses on interaction and bonding? Mission! Well done! The last one, what consists of achieving an employee turnover rate of less than 10%, increasing PM membership to three times, and achieving a 70% market share in Singapore within five years? Goals! Excellent! You can now proceed with the race. You are now at the market. Please segment your market to proceed. It was easy. The book said to target experienced gamers for the console game market. Meanwhile, for board game, we target corporate events, family and young board game enthusiasts from local universities, polytechnic and JC, especially those in the board game clubs. You have arrived at board game property. Would you like to purchase the Ultimate Lifetime Experience Project? Can I know the details? Sure. The Ultimate Lifetime Experience Project is designed to revive the glory of board game era. The initial stage of this plan transforms Play Nation's image to target families. By giving family discount, followed by food and drink packages, family corners with facility for children, such as key chairs, you can persuade families to choose Play Nation as a cozy and fun destination to spend quality time together. You can also cooperate with National Family Council by registering as their affiliate to organize family-oriented movements. Playing with their parents, the children would have the chance to learn about board games since young, triggering an interest in board game as they grow older. As a result, these kids can be more interested in joining board game societies in school, which brings us to the second feature of the plan, to sponsor board game clubs activity. Many schools in Singapore have active board game clubs, such as tabletop gaming interests in NUS, fast forwards in NTU, and many of them are affiliated with our competing cafes such as Settler or Decoders. Singapore Board Games Meetup is a strong online community of more than 2,000 board game enthusiasts that hold weekly meetings in community centers, yet they currently have no affiliate. By sponsoring their events, you can promote your brand and help increase awareness of the board game culture among general public. 
Being in community center also gives you opportunities to promote Plain Nation as a destination for family hangout through leaflet distribution or coupon giveaway. In addition, this board game community provides rich pools of quality recruitment targets who are not only knowledgeable and passionate about board game, but also have plenty of experiences in event hosting. As you can see, the project provides a full coverage from children to adults, which is why it is called an ultimate lifetime experience project. Thank you so much. What about other plans for the console games and the F&B business? Sorry, I'm not allowed to answer that question. Hmm, well... Genie, I want to know the detailed plan for console game and F&B. That would be cheating, but since I'm Genie... <coughs> the package for console game targets high-end console game lovers by purchasing limited edition console games such as Assassin's Creed, Tomb Raider, and Street Fighter's special version. Most of the time, these limited editions are charged at a premium price, so not many people have them at home. By moving toward a higher-end service segment, you can secure better customers' retention, even in the face of heavy rain of iOS and Android apps. Next, the plan for F&B property comes with sweet and savory pancakes with blueberries or smoked salmon. Why? Because Signature F&B gives customers another reason to visit you and enhance their overall experiences. You will be able to rebrand yourself as a lifestyle provider instead of just a product provider. Great! Genie, I think I will purchase all those projects la. You are now at the People roller coaster. Please take the ride to proceed. Welcome to our George's Ride with the People. We are now entering the employee forest, planted with structured training programs and a visible career path. We provide support such as job rotation among outlets, quarterly staff evaluation, additional training on event hosting and management to help our people move forward during their time with us. We also have a clear bonus scheme tied with years of experiences and target profits. With these features, we nurture our talent pool and retain the balance of the system. Next up is the customer sky path. Installed with the new membership system, we award incentives such as free drinks and food, an extra play hour with every five visits the customer made, encouraging them to come back for more. We hope you enjoy our ride, and good luck with the race. The Business Expansion Airport. Please play a game of Scrabble to proceed. First, about local expansion, I'm looking for places with more traffic of both young adults and families. Then, Bugis Junction. Or Holland Village. For overseas, we are looking at countries with close proximity and potential demand. Maybe joint venture using similar business model to build brand awareness. That can ensure reasonable control, low cost, and take care of local regulation. Countries such as Malaysia and Indonesia. You are now at the risk battlefield. Destroyed the following targets to proceed. Target 1. The low current capacity of the kitchen and its inability to cope with increasing demands from customers. Target 2. The slow investment turnover rate for huge capital committed to purchase limited edition console games. Target 3. The possible imitation of our strategies by competitors. Ready. Go. That was amazing! He used pre-made meal for peak hour and future expansion of the kitchen to deal with the current low capacity. For the slow turnover, he used promotion of free trial session to existing hardcore console game player to generate word of mouth for high-end console game and shorten the adaptation phase. Lastly, to cope with the potential imitation, he emphasized on CRM to increase customer acquisition and retention rate by constantly investing and innovating to provide differentiated experiences. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the Singapore Entrepreneur Monopoly Tournament! And here is your scoreboard! Genie, let's go celebrate our victory! Well, we might not have time, Master. Why so? Your phone is ringing. It's time to wake up. Gabriel woke up in his office. It's 8am and Kaijun is calling him. He picked up the call. Hey Kaijun, I just had the weirdest dream ever. But guess what? I know what we should do for the future of Play Nation. It is going to be a battle against ourselves, and our membership scorecard will look like a Monopoly board. 